Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, I want to make a Commodore 64 type sound. It's called a SID chip, I believe, was the sound card in one of those old computers, which I used to love. I don't know if you're as old as me. Remember those computers from the 80s? And there's various VSTs that can emulate those. But let's try making this sound ourselves. And obviously, this is going to fit in well with our 80s themed track we're making here. Now, we need something to happen in this track just after the, the main lead finishes. Uh, sorry, the second lead finishes, so it's the, the thin lead. It's this one here. So we need something happening here uh, because we've got two blocks, two, two um, blocks of four bars happening here. So we need a change uh, every eight bars, as I said before. So I think this is where I'm going to introduce it at 34. So let's go to our SID channel or just right click and create instrument track. Synth Retrolog. I use Retrolog uh, especially for these types of genres because it's such a cool analog sort of old school sounding synth. And the fact that you can make any sound you want in it makes it fabulous for learning. It's a really good teaching tool. So that's why I keep on loading up Retrolog and sort of using it in this course. So we need definitely need a square wave for this. And we'll put the shape up a little bit. But we'll, we can mess about with that later. But the key to this sound is modulation, because it's basically a sound which goes from one note to another note very, very, very quickly. And the only way to explain that to you, if you're not sure what this kind of sound is that we're trying to make here, I'll just have to show you basically. So what we want to do is add like an LFO to modulate the pitch. That's what we're going to do. So we want LFO modulating the pitch. So we want to go to oscillator one pitch. So oscillator one pitch. So this is the source and this will affect the destination, which is oscillator one pitch. You can drag, I think I showed you before, just drag them on like that. That's another way of doing it. Now we want to go into the modulator section to adjust some parameters. Actually, before I get into that, let's just show you what this is doing at the moment. Uh, it's not going to do anything at the moment. I'll show you why. So it's still not doing anything. We need to adjust the depth the modulation depth, we need to turn this up a tiny bit. And obviously you can hear the pitch adjusting or modulating. And the speed of that modulation is determined here on the frequency. So you can either do it manually by adjusting this knob here, or you can sync it to the tempo or the beat. And then just adjust whichever setting you want. Now the modulation is all too smooth because it is a sine wave. It's going so it's sort of going with a curve. I want the modulation to be much more abrupt for this sound. So therefore I'm going to change the modulation to a square wave. And that has changed the sound quite a bit. Let's change the shape. So now we're getting more of a square wave, and you can definitely hear it going between the two notes now. So just adjust the shape knob of the square wave modulation until you get the desired result. But you can hear that it's not smooth up and down anymore, it's, it's on off, on off. Sounds like a, a UK police siren, or an old one. So. We're going to adjust this in a second, so we want it a lot quicker. But I also want to adjust the filter. I'm going to go for bandpass because I want this to be a thin, a thinner sound. Now I'm getting nothing at the moment, so I need to bring down the cutoff. And let's just put the octave up a bit. Now it's still not sounding like a SID chip at the moment because let's change this to a much faster rate, maybe even 32s. Now 
Now that's definitely sounding a lot more like a Commodore 64 game now. And there's just a couple more things we can do to this. Let's change the distortion to bit depth, or bit reduction rather. As you can, you can hear it's introduced a little bit of noise and aliasing, and that's just lovely. So a nice bit of extra noise and a bit of resonance, a bit of spike around the cutoff point. Just going to turn this down a little bit. Because it's going to be way too loud when it goes in the track. Ah, that sounded a lot better when I turned the cutoff down. So it was up here. Yeah, that is now sounding pretty much how I want it. Okay, the shape. I was going to uh, modulate the shape as well, but don't seem to be doing all that much. I think because the notes are so short because of the modulation, it's not actually affecting it all that much. Anyway, so that is how you build a SID chip. Obviously, you can add delay and reverb if you want. Probably good to have a little bit on there. So let's see um, if we can get this in our track. It all sounds a bit out of tune at the moment. So what we're going to do here is probably because we've been messing about with the pitch so much, it is probably this modulation that's throwing it off. So we'll just uh, bring down the pitch a little bit manually. Something like that. It's still not quite right pitch, but it's it's better than it was. What I'm going to do is just record that in, and then we'll mess about with the pitch, getting that right in a sec. Okay, so get everything on the beat. So we'll highlight all, usual trick, press Q, quantize. Could try changing the depth, let's just see what happens. Okay, so that is changing the pitch quite a bit as well. So maybe that's what we need to do. Okay, that sounds a bit more in pitch now. Combination of the depth control and the fine scent control. Let's just get these notes correct. Let's have a slight break there and start the note again. Like a telephone, isn't it? I know it's probably a bit annoying. <laughs> Let's have the notes go up on the beat on this one. Second time around, we'll do it half a beat before. That's obviously a bit early. Okay, that's absolutely fine. And then we'll go into our mi middle eight. Okay, guys, so that's how you make a SID chip Commodore 64 type sound or a very, very old school gaming type sound with a square wave modulation. I hope that was really useful for you and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.